Hello, good morning. Uh, it's time for another daily vlog and this time I wanted to talk about um, the Justice League trailer. I just saw it and <laughs> I have to say, you know what, let's let's actually say some positive things about it. I know you ain't never heard that shit from Sarah, so let's go. Aquaman looks great. Aquaman, I like the new kind of personality twist they're giving him. Um, I think it's perfect for Jason Momoa. I love that every funny scene was from him being cool. He's like this version, of, like DC's version of Thor now. That's great. I think that's a good move because otherwise a man whose magical power is like the ocean is gonna not really fit in in this new gritty world that they've created where Wonder Woman has a goddamn sword and shield instead of her whip, but it's fine. Anyway, um, Cyborg looks like shit. Let's just move right on. Cyborg looks like they shouldn't even have bothered casting a human for this motherfucker. He looks atrocious. He looks terrible. He looks like an Iron Man knockoff. Is that what you want, DC? You want an Iron Man knockoff? Ugh. Okay, it's fine. Uh, Batman, he's very grumpy. That's how Batman is. I wish they would have... Well, I think unlike the animated shows, Batman in the suit is not as expressive in the live action things as Batman outside of his suit. So actually, I do get why they show him so often just in plain clothes, which is not something that, um, you know, I'm used to seeing from Batman when he interacts with other heroes. He's not Bruce Wayne when he interacts with other heroes. He's Batman. But the outfit they have for Batman in these movies is very thick. It's very, like, immobile. And he can't really express a lot of emotion in it. So I guess I understand why they have made that choice. Still weirds me out. The I From the trailer... It looks like we're going to have a lot of shit in one movie. Um, I'm nervous because they couldn't even handle simple shit in Batman vs. Superman. So y'all go, you're going to handle all these origin stories and you're going to put them into a movie with a plot where they're going to have a big giant massive battle at the end and we're all going to care about them? Okay, you know, reach for the stars. Reach for the stars. I'm not excited about this movie. It looks dark. It looks a little boring. However, I think that I will go see it just to support Jason Momoa and Gal Gadot because um, their characters seem fine. Maybe, maybe I can just sit through it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did you see the trailer? Are there any other movies that you guys are looking forward to? I'm really looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy and hoping that this time they don't fuck up the female characters, but they probably will. But I'll probably still enjoy the movie anyway, just like I enjoyed um, Guardians of the Galaxy the first time around. And I can't actually think of what other movies are coming up right now, so tell me in the comments and let me know if you want my opinions of them because they're always negative opinions. <laughs> That's what you can get from me. Tonight I'm going to be on Hyper RPG's Twitch channel filming Ready to Ramble. We have a special guest. She's a wrestler. Her name is Heather Monroe. I got to train with her. She's been on Raw. She's wrestled with women like Taya the Valkyrie. Like, she is really awesome. I can't wait for you guys to meet her, so be sure to tune in live so we can make her feel like she's very popular on our channel, as like as if we were there at her show with her. That's what I want to achieve. And if you don't know anything about wrestling, come watch and you're going to learn a lot about indie uh, professional wrestling, which should be really interesting and engaging. So, see you guys there. Bye!